What's going on guys? Raven here. And um, with tonight's game, I have now played every player in the league and I know how they play, I know their strengths, I know their weaknesses. I know who I, who I can fear, who not to fear. Now, if you have watched, if you're watching this video and you have not seen the one-third finale, because it'll be one-third, me versus King, the one seed versus the two seed, is the, is the one-third point in the season where the, the schedule flips back to week one and goes through again for the second time. So I will play Rose next week, or this weekend, in uh, part two of three of the season. So what I've learned. King, legit two seed. It, it's looking like we're going to have a Brady Peyton, a Brady Manning rivalry going. Um, because he, he knows how to keep up with me and we play the same type of game. And it just looks like one of us is going to get the best of the other one every time. And it's going to be close every game. Every game is going to come down to game five. And a lot of props to that guy. I, as for why I'm the one seed right now, isn't because my game against him. It's been the way I've been playing previous games. The first time that I've lost, like, individual games, other than when I played Rose and I lost that last game to her, was King. King beat me twice tonight. If you haven't watched the other one, like I said, I recommend watching it. Incredible games, incredible series. I ended up winning three to two. I'm still five and zero oh in series. I have a chance to have the first series undefeated season in the league history, even though technically the league just started. So I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Um, but that is the case. Um, 5-0 and right now in series wins. Um, I won the series 3-2 to tonight, so it moves my record to 22-3. And, and Kings will move to 17-8, and which puts me five games above him. That's a whole sweep. So let's say we both go 4-1 and every week all the way till we play each other again. And if he sweeps me, we're tied for the one seed pretty easy. I mean, there is a way that he still wins the one seed. My goal tonight was to go out, and the only way that I felt like I won, I legitimately won, was that if I got a 4-1 to one victory over him, or if I swept him. But me only winning 3-2 to two and only gaining a single game on him left the door open for him to have a chance reaching the middle and back half of the season. So... It's going to be one hell of a rivalry to watch. I recommend tuning in. Um, now for Painful and Rose. Painful and Rose, they have been putting on a show. Painful had that week one DQ on cam, so which hurt Crazy Cat Ladies standings. We'll get to them later. So Painful and Rose, I believe me and King, we're like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. We're just going to pull away. We're going to dominate all season, and it might come down to us for in finals. But don't sleep on the underdogs. Don't sleep on Rose and Painful. Rose has upped her game lately. Rose is the four seed. I see Rose very soon. I could see Rose winning two games against me coming up this week. Rose has been on a hot streak and has been playing very well. And I'm very impressed. She plays Painful. She has not, at the time of this video, she has not played Painful yet. If she wins, if she sweeps Painful, I believe she will be the three seed. And so, depending on how that goes is depending on how this video turns out. But if she isn't the three seed, when this video comes out, she will most likely be the three seed by the time the third half of the season rolls around because I think Rose is going to be a very good three seed and that's why I want to win the one seed because if I win the one seed 
I feel like, because I would not have to play Rose. It would be the two seed. That is what me and King are battling for this season. We are battling to have the easier schedule in playoffs. And the way I look at it is the three seed plays the six seed, four seed, uh, the four seed plays the five seed. Well, the three seed and the four seed win, I'm playing the four seed. If I win the, or if I win the, if I'm the regular season champion. So with that being said, I'm going to do everything in my power to keep up my hot streak. I've only lost three games total. And that does not, and that's just, that's insane numbers. Only losing three games when you've played 25 is incredible. That's like a 70-something percent win rate. But we cannot forget about who I consider Peyton Manning in this rivalry. And King is 17-8. and eight. That's not bad. He has lost now two series. He lost one to Rose. Remember that. Because that could cut. If, if it comes down to Rose catching King, Rose might get the tiebreaker. Rose needs to catch up on series wins, though, and I think it'll be tough for her, especially with how good King's playing. I think Rose will probably need to outplay him. I feel like that's the only way it's going to happen. And when they play in a series, Rose needs to win those games. Those are the important games. Um, and I want Rose to win, too, because at this point, me up five games, going into the second of three-thirds into the season, I need King to lose as many games as he can because I want to clinch that one seed. And... At the end of the day, though, we all play each other, and we're all going to face... All, playoffs is going to happen. So I just want that one seed so I can be the regular season champion, and then I can go into playoffs with the best chance I have to win the league. Now, does that mean I'm going to win the league? No. Playoffs happen, upsets happen, and I'm weary of that, and I watched my film tonight against King, and I was really sloppy. I feel like if I was a lot less sloppy, I would have won all five of those games, and I would have swept like I swept... Zoe and Painful and Crazy Cat Lady. I swept all three of those people. And I got a four against the four and one on Rose. And tonight just felt different for me. It felt like I was in a slump. And it's worrying me, and I'm going to do everything I can to correct it. And granted, I ended up winning the game. I didn't win it by much. And the fact that King is that close, and I enjoy the good series, but... It's worryful because it's like, I could have easily lost all those games tonight. The only game that I thought that I actually dominated was game five. It, it could have been a 4-1 series. So, with that being said, I've got to do everything I can to figure it out. Because now I play Rose and I play Zoe, Painful, Cat, Crazy Cat Lady. Like... I think I should figure it out by the time me and King play next, but when me and King play next, that'll be a huge game. And tonight was a great game, and I, Matthew, GG's bro, great game, incredible. Um, we are not into the second of two, three thirds into the season yet. We still have Rose and Painful to play, and Zoe and Crazy Cat Lady. Both games will probably be tomorrow, and that'll be you know, deciding on that factor. Now, Crazy Cat Lady and Zoe, they're playing for the bottom seed. <sighs> now, the way I look at that is they are battling to have a better chance in playoffs. When you're the five and six seeds, if you're the six seed, you're playing the three seed. The three seed is normally a very good team. Or, in Friday, it'd be a good team. Sorry, so used to Friday. Um, it would be, it's, it's still a good player. Rose is a good player. I'm, I'm not counting out Painful yet. Painful might win the three seed. I don't know. But as of right now, at least my experience, that I've played everybody, I feel like Rose has got that edge right now. I feel like Painful's pretty good too. And I, I honestly see them both winning in playoffs, and I probably will have them winning in playoffs. But Zoe and Crazy Cat Lady are fighting for that bottom spot to face not the three seed, to not face the three seed. Because whoever faced that three seed, it's a big underdog matchup. Huge underdog matchup. Now, for me, I just want to get the one or two seed. 
preferably the one seed so I don't have to go to through the three seed because the one and two seeds get bye weeks. So me and King get a bye week, we're one game away from the finals because then the wild card games will happen, which will be the three seed versus the six seed and the four seed versus the five seed. And the winners of those games... The lowest seed would play the one seed. The highest seed out of the winners would play the two seed. And from there, whoever wins goes to finals. And then they play each other. And well, the one seed's on one side of the bracket. The two seed is on the other side of the bracket. And with how I'm playing right now, me being five games up, if I keep up what I'm doing right now, there is no reason why I should win or I shouldn't win the league by 15 games. I mean, I am on an incredible streak, and I feel like the only player in the league right now who can stop me is King, and it's because he plays the exact same game I play. And it's worryful on how close that series was, because when it comes down to finals, if, we, if I make finals, I feel like he is one of the only people who I feel like could run me over and win the league. And it's crazy saying that, but it's true. King played incredibly well tonight. You know, I went in as, he went in as an underdog, which he has not seen all season because he's the two seed. He went in as the underdog. People all expecting me to just go in and blow him out because four and one, and then the last three games, I've been 15 and 0. They went in thinking, oh, Raven's going to blow him out. He's been on an incredible streak. And granted, I won the series. He put up one hell of a fight. A 3-2 series win coming down to a game 5. I mean, it's he played, he, he surprised me tonight. You know, I knew he was good. And I could tell the standings, like he was there. He, he was kind of just stalking me behind in the standings. And I'm like, alright, we'll see what's King Scott. And he stepped up to the plate and he swung and he got a base hit, man. And he's, he's swinging, he's swinging, man. He's taking shots, he's taking risks, and it paid off for him tonight. And like I said, even though I won tonight, I feel like King's the real winner because he held me from pulling away in the league by like nine games. If I would have swept him tonight, this season would be pretty much over because I would just walk into the playoffs as the one seed because that would have made it, I think, a nine or ten game lead for me. But with me only gaining a single game on him... One sweep is all that takes to tie him up with me. So, and I, I don't see him sweeping me, but anything can happen. So, him, I consider that for a win for him. If I'm king, what I'm taking away from this game is you have the ability to beat him, and you can hold him. Not a lot of people, can. nobody in the league other than him can say that. Because so far, the only one who's gotten a win on me was Rose, and it's because I hit the eight ball in myself. Otherwise, I'd have went 20-0 at the beginning of the season. So, great season recap so far. It's just me and King running the table, taking shots back and forth. I've won four Player of the Weeks. He has not won a single one. We'll see who is Player of the Week for Week 5. The only way that I would be Player of the Week five weeks in a row... Or yeah, five weeks in a row would be if everybody else's games were three and two, and then we'd have a three-way tie. It's the only way. So we'll probably see a new player of the week this week. And I'm interested because I'm supposed to be the one making those posts, but I've been on a roll lately, so I've had Rose doing it. <laughs> um, but uh, that is your one-third season recap. Things to look out for. You want to look out for those two battles down at the bottom, Zoe and Crazy Cat Lady. You want to watch that battle for the three seed, and you want to watch the one and two guys go at it. And we've got some great rivalries going on, so we'll see where it goes out. But I'm Raven, and uh, this has been the uh, Raven's Claw Pool League um, one-third of the way through season recap. We'll see you um, next time I do this, which will be week 10. Peace out, guys.